Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. In this episode, we are going to discuss a very important and crucial event in Islamic history. The land of Fadak. Fadak was situated north of Medina at a distance of two or three days journey. It was a very fertile land where according to the reports of Ibn Abdul Hadid, date groves were not less than those of Kufa of 13th century and whose income was between 24,000 and 70,000 dinars. It was inhabited by a Jewish tribe. In 7 AH, the Prophet waged a war against the Jews of Khaybar because they had broken a treaty with the Muslims. Some of the fortresses were taken, two or three were besieged. At last, they proposed a deal that their life, religion, honor would be safe and they would leave their fortresses and the land for the Muslims. The agreement was concluded, the Jews were allowed to work on the land on behalf of the Muslims and the produce was shared between the Jews and the Muslims half and half. According to the ayah of the Quran, Surah 8, verse 41, one-fifth of the fortresses and land was given to the Prophet as Qums and the remaining four-fifths to the Muslims. When the Jews of Fadak heard of the Battle of Khaybar and the resulting agreement, they began thinking about themselves. At the same time, a messenger came to them from Medina inviting them to Islam. They refused to accept Islam, but on their own accord offered peace on the following terms. Number one, they would give half of their land to the Prophet and the other half remaining in their possession. Number two, they would work on the land of the Prophet sharing in its produce. Number three, the Prophet would have authority to turn them out of Fadak whenever he so wished, but he would have to pay them full price of their share of land and property. The Prophet accepted these terms. Some Muslims thought that Fadak also was Muslim property, like Khaybar, but it is their misunderstanding because long before that, in the case of Banu Nazir, the law was promulgated that whatever comes to the Prophet without military expedition was the Prophet's personal property, for him to use or divide as he thought appropriate. As the Quran says, Surah 59, verse 6, And whatever Allah restored to his messenger, from them you did not press forward against it any horse or a riding camel, but Allah gives authority to his messenger over whom he pleases, and Allah has power over all things. Banu Nazir were banished from Medina in the beginning of third year of Hijrah. They were allowed to take whatever the camels could carry except arms. On arriving at Medina, the Prophet had created fraternal relationships between a Muhajir brother and an Ansari. And every Ansari shared all his property half and half with the Muhajir brother. So much so that if an Ansari's inheritance was divided among his brothers and sisters, the Muhajir brother was included in it. Abu Bakr was made brother of Kharij bin Zaid. Umar and Uthman bin Malik Ansari were made brothers, as were Uthman and Aus bin Thabit Ansari, and so on. Only Ali was left out of this fraternity, the Prophet declaring that Ali was the brother of the Prophet himself. On acquiring the property of Banu Nazir, the Prophet on his own decided to divide it among the Muhajirin and release the Ansar from the burden. He did so and included two extremely poor Ansar in the list, Abu Dajana and Sahal ibn Hanif. So all Muhajirin including Abu Bakr, Umar and Uthman got their shares from the land and it became their personal property. It was not for maintenance only. In the same way, Fadak became a personal property of the Prophet and he managed it himself. Then another ayah came, Surah 17, verse 26, And give to the near of kin his due. The Prophet asked Jibra'il the meaning of this revelation. He said, Give Fadak to Fatima. It will be a source of income to her and her children. The Prophet gave Fadak to Fatima and she was using it as her own property. Her agent was there to look after her interests. This continued till the Prophet died and Abu Bakr took the possession of Fadak by force. 
in the next episode we are going to discuss what happened after father was taken by force